Hey guys, Zuljin here and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest Builders. I hope y'all are having a wonderful day today. We are going to get on with the construction of the rainbow drop today and see where it leads us. I don't know if this will be the last episode or we have a couple left. I have no idea. I know we're getting really, really close to the end though. So, I'm going to make the altar. Uh, the last time we needed some of this uh, Zentium or Xenthium, and I went ahead around in the caves uh, through the portal and just found some, and I used uh, some of the bombs to actually uh, actually destroy it and, and, and collect it. So it was pretty easy to do, and I got plenty of it, so it, it's not real hard to find. It was around the gold and silver and the other type of wars that you can find. I just figured that I wouldn't show that because it was a little bit, a little bit redundant. Anyway, let's go ahead and place it down, and this should complete the uh the quest there we go completes the sanctum blueprint all right and let's see and we can build the rainbow drop here we go it's done that's pretty easy <laughs> uh that was easy all right so now what we've got oh she's out <laughs> congratulations zuljin Thy duty as builder of a left guard is fulfilled. The ancient altar is rebuilt, as are the rainbow drop, the sword of kings, and the auroral armor. All is in place for the day of the dragon lord's destruction, and it cannot come soon enough. Zuljin, my child, I'm so very proud of you. You have fulfilled every one of the weighty responsibilities that I bestowed upon your young shoulders. It has been a long and arduous journey, but you have at last achieved your goal. Just as your distant ancestors, a warrior named Erdrich, achieved his, thou fate did not grant you your ancestors' strength of arms, you were blessed instead with the power of creation. I searched far and wide for one such as you who could clear the Dragon Lord's curse and bring back the light to the benighted land of the left guard. At long last I found you slumped in the shallow grave beneath the crumbling ruins of Cantlin. But alas, I was too late, all that remained of your in wait inestimable being was a cold and lifeless corpse lately slain by a rampaging monster and so i breathed what vital forces i could muster into your battered body and brought you back into the land of the living zuljin my child i still remember when you said to me in cantlin before your building work began in earnest you told me that you just wanted to build things, not fight the monsters, and yet you have fought so hard to make it this far. Zuljin, my child, your sacred duty is fulfilled. The power that I bestowed upon you will soon fade. But do not fear. You will not lose everything if you conserve what little vital energy remains within you, and a long and happy life can yet be yours. From now on, you can live in peace and rebuild to your heart's content, just as you always wished. And I got some scare root. Which I needed for something. Oh, here we go with monsters. <laughs> Eek! Why Why did the ground quiver so, Zuljin? Help me, Zuljin, help me. Uh, there's a monster. <laughs> there's monsters to be had. Okay, so hold on a minute. There was something that I could build with the scare root, and it escapes me, y'all. I forget exactly what it is. It was something... Let's see. Scare root, scare root, scare root, scare root. What was... What was it? It wasn't any armor or sword. Ultimate key, divine Yadrasil essence. That's right, an exotic elixir made to mirror the world, the world tree's dew. Revives and restores you to full health upon death automatically if used. Uh, you know what? Let's make some. Nice. Can we make more? Yes. Um, we might as well. We have two, so we may as well use it. Alright. Another thing is I'm going to put this blueprint up. Because I'm not sure what we'll need or what we won't need. Uh, I've got plenty of stuff going on here, guys. Let me go ahead and grab this, um, this stuff that I had made a little while back. Where was it? It was... It looked like some meat steaks. There we go. This stuff right here. Bony steaks. Take out... All right, and was there anything else that I wanted to do? There's some more seeds of life here. Okay, 
As long as I use these, I should be fine. I have plenty of herbs and stuff too. Okay, let's move some stuff around here. Uh, let's see. Items. Okay, so we'll swap. Tell you what. Let's swap all the healing stuff toward the end. Swap. Right here. Okay. Swap right here. Swap right here. Okay, so now we got the cannons and the evil idols set up. Some food next to each other. I think we'll be okay with this. The rainbow drop. I'd like the car to be separate too. Okay, I think we're pretty good with this now. Let's go ahead and save it really quick. Oh no, I meant to save. <laughs> Getting all nervous. All right, let's talk to the princess and see what happens here. Get out from behind there, princess. Oh, Zul'jin, I have the most terrible news. The Dragon Lord hath learned this of thy city's success, and his dark armies march on Tantagel even as we speak. Zul'jin, I have thought long and hard about this matter, and have discussed it with those in thy fellowship. And we have all come to the same conclusion. There is no other but thou who can defeat the Dragon Lord and save our world from his unholy reign. I could have told you that a long time ago, princess. Please, Zul'jin, I beg of thee, drive back the monstrous force that close on this castle, and do away with the Dragon Lord once and for all. No, Zul'jin, do not follow that path. As I have told you many times before, you are not the hero. Oh, this is the goddess speaking. Uh, it is not for you to defeat the Dragon Lord. And what is more, should you go against my guidance and challenge the Dragon Lord, what little life remains within you will surely be expanded. Even if... By some miracle you were to emerge victorious, you would not survive the taste of the fruits of your triumph. Listen to me, Zul'jin. Do not go blindly to your doom, but follow the guidance of your goddess. Zul'jin, stop daydreaming. The monsters are almost at the gates. I know full well that this is not part of the duty bestowed upon thee, and tis a daunting and dangerous task. But I prithee, Zul'jin, nay, I beg thee, use thy powers to defeat the Dragon Lord and save the world from the darkness. Well, of course. Foolish child. Do you truly understand the significance of this decision? If this is the path you have chosen, then so be it. Your role that I allotted unto you is already fulfilled. How you choose to live your life is no longer any concern of mine. You may do as you see fit. Zul'jin, my child, I will watch over you no more. Well, have at it, goddess. Go take care of something else. <laughs> I'm here to protect and serve. All right, where is all the... Uh, there we go. Here we go. All right, I think Bashmobile is the way I'm gonna go here. <laughs> Holy Hostel's destroyed already. Empty room is destroyed. Give me the Sword of Kings, man. Here we go. I guess I should, uh, I, I think I'm gonna save like the advanced tactics <laughs> for uh, <laughs> For the big fights, I guess. Wow, they're jumping and stuff in there. I'm gonna destroy the whole city if I use cannons. So I think I'll just use my sword for now. Okay, hold up. Here we go. Max in, uh, HP increased. I've gotten all kind of chains and stuff. There's gonna be a lot of trash to clean up after this battle. Okay, good. The monsters are defeated. Phase one of two. Night errands appear. There we go. Oh, that's nice when there's two of them. You could do some radical stuff. Oh, I missed. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I crashed. Okay. <laughs> He's dead. Oh, I missed him. It's so, it's so hard to, uh, oh my gosh. Well, he's gonna destroy everything, ain't he? The first battlement block? Wow. Okay, you know what? You getting the, you getting the full-fledged car battle here. Okay, I gotta turn around. Oh man, there's trees in the way and stuff. Oh! Hell broth. Hold on. 
Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's use a few healing items here. There you go. Barbell is down. Everybody's down, man. He should be almost dead now. Hold up. I'm coming, guys. I'm coming. He's dead. All right. Wow. He <laughs> destroyed the whole castle almost. <laughs> Everything but the throne room. Victory! Oh man, contains a seed of life. Okay, good. Very good. Is everything. No, <laughs> everything's still destroyed. Alright, we got more fights to do. My thanks, Zuljin. Thou have driven back the monster's attack. But I fear the battle is not over yet. The Dragon Lord's armies still surround us. We need to defend this place. The fiend is ever to be defeated, and my kingdom. Zuljin, what aileth thee? Never before have I seen thee so weak and weary. Still, I suppose it's only natural thou uh, art full fatigued after such an arduous encounter. Do not be overly hasty in rejoining the fray. I prithee, be sure thy strength is recovered. <laughs> Return us to the field. Return well, my friend. Are thou prepared? Yes. Zuljin, I thank thee. But please, promise me that thou wilt not overstrain thyself. No choice. I gotta do what I gotta do, man. I gotta do what I gotta do. All right. Again with knight errants. Oh, I missed him. <laughs> Dang it. Hold on, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. So I'm not doing any damage to him? Oh, there we go. All I'm doing is hitting them with cars and stuff, too. Oh, here we go. I'll just nail this guy and then turn around with the car. Okay. We're ready to go. You know what? I should, uh, I should be using one of these things, too. My bony steaks. All right. Dang it. Oh, no. All right, is that it? Okay, six of six. We're gonna have one more wave. Nice. Excuse me, knight. Oh, put your shield down. There we go. The mages are easy. And my guys are pretty well equipped, man. They doing damage. All right, the princess is safe. We got him. Four out of five. Oh, a red dragon. Hello. Four out of five. Oh. All right. Five breath. Okay, no problem. Hold on. See to life. It's time. The car makes it, like, really simple not to get hit. It's not exactly the most efficient way of fighting, but, like, you don't get hit while you own it, which is pretty awesome, man. It's just to get it to line up right. Oh, it's turning nighttime on me. Hold up. Sometimes it's, it's really hard to drive sometimes, though. Ouch. Alright, I should be able to turn around. There we go. Almost dead. 101 left. Ah, slayed him with the sword. Okay. Mosses are defeated. Well, there we go. Alright. Another seed of life. Excellent. I can use them. Alright. I should save. <laughs> I should save. Yes.
All right. Uh, let's sleep really quick. We're going to borrow the princess's bed since the holy hostel was destroyed. <laughs> that would be nice in daylight. All right. Okay, princess, what you got? My dear friend, I cannot thank thee enough. Again, thou hast delivered us from the monsters. Now that their attacks have at last subsided, all is ready for thee to face thy final challenge. Zuljian, it is time. By the holy power of the rainbow drop, thou needs must journey to the Dragon Lord's lair. Don the auroral armor and the hero's shield that thou might be protected against his fearful magics, and take the sword of kings in hand, that thou might strike at the heart of the beast and lay him down. O oh, Zuljian, I am but spalt and simpering princess, who would be as nothing without t thine incomparable powers. Even at this late stage, I have not even the words to lend thee courage as thou departest into the deepest, darkest night. All I can say to thee is this. Go, my dear Zuljin, and come back. A new quest marker has appeared on the compass. That's going to have to be through here, I suppose? Alright, and I suppose I'll just have to use the rainbow drop here. Alright, let's get in the car and head on out, y'all. Oh no, we hit something. <laughs> it's a this away, huh? Are we gonna have to go on top? That's the cave, uh, that's uh, around where I got the, uh, the last bit of stuff that I needed, by the way. All right, uh, I should have plenty of blocks. I'm just gonna use the castle blocks to get up here. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna need, or if this is even the, the right way. Um, huh? I have no idea how to uh, how to get there. Maybe, maybe this is not the way. Okay, hold on. Let's go back to base. And then I'll try the rainbow drop from the main land. I don't know if it's in this land or the first land or what, but I'll have to travel there either way. Let's see. Get the car. All right. Let's travel. Ah, it is this way, okay. Um, hold on. Is it over here that I'm gonna have to do it? I need a spot, I guess I need a spot to use the, uh, the drop at, but I don't know where that is. I mean, that's where I have to go. I wonder if I just use the rainbow drop anywhere here. How about this? How about I just try to use it here? Travel to the Dragon Lord's Island? Well, that's simple. It just brings you right there. You don't need to build a bridge or anything. I was thinking it would build a bridge. Well, there we go, y'all. We are here. Hmm, 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 hmm. So, art thou come to meet me last, Zuljin? Thou art blessed with the powers of creation. Come to my castle. I await thee there. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> All right, I'm coming, Dragon Lord. Okay, there's probably, I imagine there's gonna be some monsters here. No, no, no. So we can use the rainbow drop over and over and over again. That's good. There's red dragons here and stuff. Good Lord. I imagine we're gonna have to go all the way around here. We're probably gonna have to follow the, um, I almost said the yellow brick road. Uh, follow these things over here, aha. Okay, here's something we're going to have to break down, I'm guessing. Okay, let's just go right through here. Excuse me. <laughs> I care not about your small battles. I'm in it to win it, y'all. In it to win it. It's time to get down to business here. Looks like this is going to be... The castle right here. Wow, that was pretty easy to get to. Okay. 
We're here. Can't break that. Let's see here. I guess we gotta go through and around and search for him. Watch out, mage. I interrupted you, huh? Sucks to be you. Give me that newt. Alright. The battles seem very... <laughs> very easy compared to what's usually going on. I'll tell you what. I'm just gonna keep going. There's a red dragon back there. I'm just gonna keep going because all of this just seems to... Like... <laughs> it's not really bad. In fact... Watch this. Let's put this up. Some ash. I don't know. I was gonna I was thinking about just walling them off or whatever. Oh uh, here's the dragon, I guess. Oh, I'm falling asleep. Hold on. I think I might need some items then. If they're putting me to sleep. Wake up, Zuljin, wake up! Alright. Let's see. Didn't we have like a bunch of different items? Let's put this up. Let's put this up. Where was the the items? Didn't she give me like some different stuff for healing? I'm pretty sure she did. Okay, what is this? Hell broth. It takes a lot of toil and trouble to brew up this broth. Completely fills hunger meat and increases defense for a short time. That's good stuff. I'm gonna pull that out. Um let's see, okay, here we are. Tingle tablet. Um, cures paralysis effects. This cures effects of poison. This, um, confusion. Cleansing compounds banishes curses. I think I might have to use that. I thought there was something to prevent against sleep, but maybe that was a ring that I'm thinking of or something. At any rate, y'all, let's get on with it. <laughs> Two can play a dead game, dragon. This should be it. Okay, good. Alright, and I got to the crown. Examine. The faintest of draughts can be felt from coming from behind the throne. So, in Dragon Warrior, the original one, you had to search behind the, tr the throne to get to uh, the Dragon Lord. And check this out. <laughs> I love that they went uh, I love that they went to these lengths to kind of recreate the the first experience. This is really really cool, man. All right. Weird. I've never seen that stuff before. All right. I think this is it, y'all. Should we ride up in there? Oh, we it won't let us. Here we go. So, thou art come before me at last, Uljin. I am the Dragon Lord, Master of Masters, King of Kings. I did not anticipate the coming of one such as thee. Thou art no hero. Thou art naught but a flawed and feeble puppet of Rubis, forsaken by thy master. And yet there is a fire in thine eyes. A fearful force burneth within thee. This power of creation thou wieldest is a terrible thing indeed as thou knowest full well. Thou hast seen it with thine own eyes, hast thou not? In Cantlin, Romulder, Call, Gallenholm? In every place the humans used their powers to rebel against their fate and brought a fate more miserable still upon their heads. I had no choice but to eliminate that corrupting power. Had I not done so, this world would have been thrown out of balance and fallen into ruin once more. So come, Builder, Allow me to eliminate the last vestige of mankind's corruption. The. Alright, here we go. Okay, so I have a plan here. I think I'm going to place some of these things around. We're going to have a bunch of these things around. Uh, I guess they're immune to fire? Okay, so there's a bunch of things that I just loaded up. Let's put some cannons around now. Okay, that definitely hurts him, which is good. A lot, too, man. Huh! 
Load it up. There we go. Okay, how we doing on health here? Not bad, not bad. Okay, Dragon Lord's magic shield disappears. Now I can hit him. I could just wail on him, man. Now's your chance to attack the Dragon Lord. Okay, same thing again. I'll tell you what, let's eat this. And let's eat this. Eat it. Okay, where's my cannon? <laughs> Cannons away, boys. Okay, good. Did I get my cannon back? These guys are easy, though. I might not even need the cannon for him. This is like the only dude that really does any damage. Or is is hard to hit. Yeah, he's a little bit hard to hit. Let's uh let's hit him with that. There we go. I'll tell you what. Can we just uh Yeah, I could hit him from this. Ah Oh no, I don't need the shovel right now. Okay, good, 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 good. Tell you what, let's eat a little bit of healing. Actually, let's just start using the uh, the seeds of life here. Okay. <laughs> Cannons away, baby. All right. Where's the other guys? Only one hit apiece. I'm just gonna go up to him and um... ah. There we go. Not the show. Okay, I'm taking that out of my inventory right now. Equipment. Shovel. Unequip. Okay. Man. The fireballs are real. Okay. That's dead. All right, the magic shield disappeared. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Almost got him. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Twould seem I underestimated thee. He's gonna turn into a dragon. How came a weakling child to wield such power? Ah, I see it now. The strength is not thine alone, but in fact of thy creations. "'Tis regrettable indeed that thou shouldst brandish the power against me. "'For it's feeble in comparison to the true power of mine own.'" Yep, he's gonna turn into a dragon now. <laughs> I knew it! Here we go, y'all. I think this is the final battle. Hear me, Zul'jin. Before I reveal to thee my true strength, I will make thee an offer. Uh-huh, I knew it was gonna happen. The same I made unto the last visitor to darken these halls. Join me and have this world shall be thine. <laughs> Tis an offer few would refuse. Thou art no hero, Zul'jin. The part, thy part in Rubus's schemes is already ended. Let not thy life be cut short in turn. Be not afeard. The world I grant unto thee will not be one of darkness. Will be the land of light and liberty, where thou mightst build a kingdom in thine own image. So, Zul'jin, I give thee one last chance. Come, take thy rightful place at my side. Do so, and I will grant thee unto thee dominion over half this world. What sayest thou? Will thou rule beside me? No. Then thou means to challenge me? No, Zul'jin, if thou failest, the towns and villages thou hast built upon these lands will be reduced to rubble. They already have. <laughs> <laughs> and they and thy friends and fellows will meet their dooms. Every trace of thine existence will be wiped from the face of the earth. Art thou truly prepared to venture the future of mankind on a battle thou cannot win? Thou will have no regrets. So be it. Then come, fool. Know thine insignificance. Zul'jin, my child, can you hear me? 
Rubus, what is the meaning of this? Zul'jin, you are not a hero. It was never within the power to defeat the Dragon Lord. However, with the creations you have built and the friends you have made, you can now call upon a power far greater than your own. Go, my child. Together we shall slay the Dragon Lord low. I thought she was out. Rubus, impertinent wretch. Come, Zul'jin, look upon the true power in despair. And despair. All right, Dragon Lord. Toe to toe. My controller is rattling. <laughs> uh huh. The Dragon Lord. His terrifying true form. Here we go, y'all. All of the Dragon. Wait, the Dragon Lord's blast all Zul'jin's items out of the bag? What? Rubus summons a friend to Zul'jin's side. Hey, buddy! Take this! Oh! The Cantlin Shields! Oh my gosh. It's the Cantlin Shields that I have to use. Okay, hold up. Hit that, man. All right, straight on. Boom. Wow, I hit him as many times as I can. How can Zul'jin block the Dragon Lord's bite? First Plumberry? Okay. Yeah, give me some more, buddy. Thank you. How's my health? Let's do one more herb. All right, I dodged it. Let's wait until he gets in the middle so I can use this for real. All right. I'm hitting him a lot. Okay, are you going to jump to the left over here? Oh, what are you doing here? What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know what you're doing, Dragon Lord. Dragon Lord summons his minions. Aha. Uh -huh. Channeling dark forces. All right. We safe. Hey, give me hook me up, man. Hook me up. Ouch. Oh my gosh. I didn't have my super item anymore. Okay. This is going to be pretty darn hard, you guys. Pretty darn hard, I do think. Do you want to return before the battle? Yes. Don't tell me I have to go all the way through this again. Wow. Oh my gosh. Alright, I'm going to go through this and I'm going to edit in the last boss. <laughs> Alright, you guys. I'm in the heat of the battle here. I've already got past the first round. Or not really the first round, but I've already got quite a bit of his health down and a few more items than I had last time. Why are you giving me some blocks, dude? I gotta heal. Channeling his power. I'm gonna heal again. I don't know what he's planning on doing. That was the only way, I guess. Alright. Ouch. It didn't stop it. I need more healing herbs. Come on, man. How can Zul'jin attack the Dragon Lord so far away? Cannons. Good. That's what I needed. It's about time. Ouch. Let's get right here. Let's use another heal. I got one of those potions now. Ouch. Dang it. Cannons, baby. Good. Now I can hit him. I missed him. Am I hitting him with those? Oh, no. Ouch. That ain't good. 
Hit him. Hit him. I don't know if I can block it, but I'll try. Nope, that doesn't block it. I don't know. I can get behind walls, maybe, when that happens. I need a heal, man. Minions, great. Hold on. Let me heal up. Eek! It's coming! Alright. Oh my gosh, I just ran straight into it. Whew, man. Yes, give me some more heal items, man. A hamburger? What am I gonna do with that? Beanie burger. What does it do again? Does that give me heal health? Nope. Uh oh. I'm in trouble, y'all. I'm in trouble. Quick. I do have that elixir thing, but. Yes, another elixir. Alright, at least they jump and they don't charge. Ouch, they do charge. <gasps> I almost fell off right there. Y'all saw that? Dang, yes, give me give me all that. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all the food, but I'll take it. Alright, I need to kill this guy. Alright, there we go. Now can we shoot him? I didn't hit him. Oh my gosh, dragons. Okay, I'm poisoned now. Um, he's almost dead. Okay, got him. Eek. Heal. Heal. Yes, give me more herbs, please. Alright, he's dead. Herb. Herb. Cannons. I hit him. Ouch. He, he totally destroyed my cannon. Channeling dark powers again? Yeah, give me some Cantlin shields, buddy. When he gets closer, I can hit him. This is a pretty uh, epic battle, man. Eek. I don't know what to do. I don't want to drop down. I can't go down there. Oh, he just he just destroys him, man. He just destroys Okay, I got cannon, cannons now. Oh, I can't believe that missed him. Oh, no. Give it back, give it back, give it back, give it back. Okay. Fireballs, okay. Does that do damage when he's doing that? No, it doesn't. Hold on. Items. Can I swap my space around while I'm like this? Yes, I can. I didn't know you could do that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I went all game not knowing you could do that. So you could go to items and switch which slot you're in. What's he gonna do? Is he summoning something? Ouch. Okay, I need healing. Can I hit him now? I did hit him. Oh, I missed him. Alright, yep, give me some shields, man. And some block. I don't know what I can use the blocks for. I still didn't try it out. Ouch. Dude, I'm doing pretty good. That ain't gonna do it for me. Give my cannon back quick. 
car? Oh, man. Hold on. They've given me plenty of herbs and stuff, which is great. Wait until he does something. Ouch. Yeah, give me some herbs, buddy. Oh, man, I wish I had... Ouch. Cantlin's shield didn't do nothing for me right there. Give my cannon back. Whew. All right, what's the uh, the beanie burger do again? Oh, he's channeling his dark powers. How about this? <laughs> Will I get anything from that? Nope. <laughs> that doesn't do anything. All right, let's see if I can hit him now. Oh, cannons. That's exactly what I want. Oh, I missed him. I know the sledge gets him off faster, but it's a little bit hard to, to manage sometimes. Here we go. There we go, y'all. That's it! Wow. Did I really just beat him? <laughs> that was only my second try, honest. <laughs> Once you get the feel for it, it works out pretty good. Whew. Uh, what is this? Zul'jin, my child, you have done well. The Dragon Lord is no more. I guess that's Rubus. From the dawn of time, the Dragon Lord and I have sought to intercede in the eternal struggle between mankind and the monsters. For aeons, I have... What? We should forget about the old fairy stories for now and concentrate on clearing away this darkness? Yes, perhaps you're right. <laughs> Go forth, my child, and reconstruct the sphere of light. What? I gotta build something? Here we go. Look at me build, man. <laughs> I'm doing all my little animations from all the different types of altars and crafting stations that I had. That's it. I got it. Zul'jin rebuilds the Sphere of Light. Well done, my child. Now, Zul'jin, raise the Sphere of Light to the heavens and clear away the darkness. Here we go. It just illuminates my ruined castle. <laughs> the light returns to a left guard. Zul'jin, I'm so very proud of you. You have made this land of a left guard alive again. Zul'jin, my child, that you were able to defeat the Dragon Lord is due to all that you have built, both your creations and your bonds of friendship. Though this was not the outcome I had anticipated, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for providing, proving me wrong. Ah, but Zul'jin, what is the matter? Are you alright? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Oh, my poor child. Come back to me, Zul'jin. I thought... I thought you was gonna f uh, figure... I fear that my prediction was true. That's what I'm thinking. That's some cool structures in the background right there. The vital energies that are breathed into you are nigh exhausted. Your body will soon relinquish its grip on your soul. I always knew that this would happen. It would never... It was never for you to defeat the Dragon Lord. I'm explaining it to her, but... Pardon? What did you say? You picked this path yourself, so I shouldn't sweat it? 
Ha ha ha. Oh, Zuljan, you always did have a way with words. And a potato face. In all honesty, it seems you have not changed since the very first moment we met. Zuljan, my child, there is one thing that I often wonder. Why did a hero who came before you accept the Dragon Lord's offer? I cannot claim to fully comprehend the human mind, and yet it seems to me that this was too was a very human choice. But let us not dwell on the past. Come on, Zuljan. Your, your triumphant homecoming is at hand. Let us return to Tantigil where all your friends await you. I will tell the princess of your condition, though you have but little life remaining. It should be enough. Rainbow drop it on back. Sorry the video is so long, you guys, but it just kind of is that way. All right. Should we just talk to the princess? Oh, my dear brave Zuljan, thou hast defeated the Dragon Lord and restored the light to the benighted realm. But at what price? Rubus told me what fate is to befall thee. The music's too happy for me to die. She did say that thine energies are nigh exhausted, and thy mortal body will soon give up the ghost. And also, that thou repentest not thy decision. O oh, Zuljan, throughout my contested girlhood, oft did I dream of a hero who would deliver my kingdom from the Dragon Lord. I must admit, thou art somewhat different to the man I imagined, and yet, you're attracted to me, right? O oh, Zuljan, we have all been waiting and praying for thy safe return. I'm sure everyone else is eager to congratulate you as I am. Neglect them not, I prithee. When thou art ready, I bid thee speak with me again for mayhap for the final time. Alright, here we go, y'all. <laughs> round the round the tree. Zuljan, my friend. After you left Cantlin and returned I returned to my studies and finished reading the Cantlin Chronicle cover to cover, and on the very last page I made an interesting discovery. It would seem that yourself are a man made creation. After the Dragon Lord scratched, snatched the light from the sky and took away the power to build, the people of Alefgord had truly hit rock bottom, and each and every one of them prayed that day a hero would come to rebuild their ruined world. As the years went by, this longing turned into legend and the people began to wait for what they believed was the long-destined birth of the Builder. And so, Benevolent Rubus listened to her children's pleas and granted you the life of the power that you have today. She made you the builder that Alefgord had been waiting for so long. Well, Zuljan, isn't that perfect tale to which to end your adventures? And, in, and in, engagingly told, too, even if I do say so myself. I knew that reading a 200,000 pages of the Cantlin Chronicle would pay off. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Tristan, tell me, Zuljan, what thou heard of the Dragon Lord in his den? Beard. Baird? I don't know. <laughs> when thou did beard the dragon lord in his den, did I say what did I say unto thee? For instance, did he explain wherefore he took away mankind's power to build and not our lives? Tis the question that had long puzzled me. From our own standpoint, the dragon lord is the embodiment of all evil, and yet, from a monster's perspective, he is the master of all masters and king among kings. Surely, such a lofty personage would not stoop to destroying the world of murdering mankind on naught but a whim. There must be some intelligence behind his schemes, no matter how alien they appear to us. It seemeth to me that whether the course of action is deemed reasonable or treasonable dependeth entirely on one's point of view. Tis a fascinating conundrum indeed. Okay, look around these, Zuljan. Breathe the air. All is good and bright once more. The light that doth fill the skies is so beautiful. The breezes that caress one's cheek so gentle. If there was one benefit to this world being shrouded in the darkness, it is this. Now that the shroud is removed, our eyes are open to the true wonder of the left guard once more. I pray that this feeling will never fade for so long. A thousand thanks, Zuljan. A thousand thousand. Nay, is not a number to equal the depth of gratitude a left guard oweth unto thee. Zuljan, my boy, a matter I have been preying on my mind for some years now. Why must sages, spirits, and soothsayers speak in such opaque and portuous proclamations? I, I, I was wondering at it myself, Merlin. If the duty had been plenty spelt out from the beginning, and thou hadst given me the materials by which the ancient altar was to be rebuilt, then many of thy travels, they travels did face in thy quest, might well have been avoided. Those pompous, pompous swaggers, grandstanding, malperts, their wretched, obtrustedly vexeth me beyond measure. Now that I know, now that I think on it, as a seer myself, mayhap tis not my place to criticize the arcane abominations of others. I pray thee, Zuljan, do not tell Rubus I spoke this. I spoke this? <laughs> 
Ellie, Zuljan, do you remember when we spoke before about a certain matter that was bothering me? I simply could not imagine why the sign of the Dragon Lord's hero would say yes to the Dragon Lord's offer. I've been mulling over it for some time now, and I think I've finally hit on a possible explanation. It all fell into place when I saw you fly off to fight the Dragon Lord. As the descendants of the mythical hero, that warrior must have spent his whole life being heralded as a savior by everyone around him. From the moment of his birth, his path, his life was already plotted out. He never had a chance to make the decision for himself, until the Dragon Lord presented him with one. If it had been put in the same situation, wait, if I had put in the same situation, I know what I'd be thinking. It'd be one, I'd be wondering what would happen if I said yes. <laughs> I wondered that too, but I know exactly what happened. In the first Dragon Warrior, he actually just, uh, the game ended, so I don't think he actually wanted to rule over half the world, you know. I think he was just curious to see what would happen if he did the unexpected. It may have been truly a disastrous decision, but I understand why he might have made it. Tee <laughs> it was only the time went against his sacred duty in his whole life. Compared to Yuzul Jin, he was an absolute saint. Oh my. Alright, Barbella? Watch it, Zuljin. This world we're living in now, it's the way it is because some witness wonder said yes to the Dragon Lord's offer, right? Well, that reminds me of something Galilee used to say. With every choice we make, a new possibility is born and the universe expands. Which means there's another possible world out there where the Dragon Lord got walloped the first time around. Compared to that one, our world took a bit of a beat on its way to finding peace again. But I'm kind of glad it did. After all, if, I ha if it hadn't, I'd never gotten to meet you. Oh, that's sweet. Alright. Ah, Zuljin, hast thou spoken to all thy friends? I know not if, did, if they did reveal it to thee, but we have prepared a small banquet to celebrate the light returning to our world. Well, my friends, shall we begin the celebrations? Yes. Zuljin, my dear friend, for defeating the Dragon Lord and restoring the light to thy kingdom, I am eternally thankful. If it were not for thy, thee and thy building abilities, this world would still be shrouded in darkness. My dear Zuljin, thou art not a hero chosen by the Almighty Goddess, nor art the hero I did call to mind in my girlish daydreams. However, though it may seem trite, I believe this to be true. One doth not perform heroic deeds because one is a hero. One becometh a hero by performing heroic deeds. That is why, to me, nay, to all of us, thou art a hero above all others. Zuljin, my friend, Rubus did tell me what is to become of thee. Thou wilt soon disappear from this place, and there is naught that can be done to prevent it. But if we pray for it with all our hearts, I know that we shall meet again. Come, Zuljin, let us begin the feast. We shall celebrate Alephgord's long-awaited revival together. Yay! Feast! <laughs> with confetti! Congratulations! Thou hast restored peace unto the world. But there are many roads yet to travel. May the light shine upon thee. Dragon Quest Builder Staff. Well, there you go, you guys. <laughs> that was uh, that was an awesome Let's Play. I'm not going to lie. After Chapter 3, I had about enough of the same grind, but Chapter 4 was really, really good. I think Chapter 2 wore me out, honestly. The, um where the tech was real low and we had to find all those ingredients for the hospitals and stuff like that even though it was cute I think if I would have done 1, 3 and 4 that length of the game I would have been more comfortable with it would have probably ended in about 50 episodes and to me that would be a pretty good LP there are some longer games that I'd like to do like this too but I think in the future the longer games like this when I tackle them I'm gonna do them in live streams because they are um I mean, they're, they're quite big. You know, 65 episodes is a lot. I've been playing this game, like, you've been watching this game. If you've watched this game straight, one episode a day, for every single episode, you'd be watching it two and a half months. <laughs> and honestly, that's pretty dang long, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah. I like the shorter series myself. They're a little bit easier to digest, and I know some of you guys like really long series, so... We may be streaming some stuff like this in the future, but um, other than that, guys, that is it. The video has gone on long enough. Uh, the the credits, I think, are going to be listed um, here, and uh, I'll just finish out the video like this, you guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed the series. If you did, give me some dap on that like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe for more daily videos. And thank you all so much for watching, guys. 
As always, this is Zuljan signing off, and we'll see you next time.